<laughs> so everybody's on TikTok right now doing this AI. Thank you for the roses. Mmm, <laughs> pepper. Mmm, <laughs> pepper. <laughs> right? Everybody's doing this. And I love TikTok. I love social media. Um, just because it's it's fun, right? It's fun. And uh, but I want to tell you what I truly see, because, um, you know, there's what you see, which is this AI thing. Everybody's doing it. It's one of the biggest trends this date to this date on TikTok. But I see something beyond just this AI trend. Now, originally, there was this uh, black girl with a blonde wig. She was the originator of doing this trend. I think, and she had a flattening iron and she had popcorn kernels and she was popping popcorn kernels, acting like an AI, accepting gifts, right? And I guess according to the logistics, she was making somewhere between two to $4,000 a day per live. Now, recently, I think earlier this week or late last week, I forget when it was, I saw some other creator say, wow, kind of pointing out this AI originator doing these lives and pointing out the money that she's making. And she made a, she was making a funny TikTok like, oh, I can't ever see myself doing it. And then it cuts off and then all of a sudden she's an AI. Now, it's not even funny how many people are doing this AI trend. And it is kind of funny, but I'm gonna tell you what I see. I think everything, I know, Everything happens for a reason. First of all, like the video. Make sure you like the video. Comment down if you have any feelings, opinions, questions, or you just want to say hello. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because I post videos daily. This is video number 19. 19 days in a row we've been posting at least one video. So I believe that every single thing in this world happens for a reason. And there's two sides, just like a coin. There's two sides. There's two ways to look at it. So although I do see people getting the AI bag on TikTok Live, I do see people enjoying and having fun and a lot of people are watching this. One question, there's a couple questions I ask myself. One, are all the people that are in these lives watching these AI people, are all these people real? Because I know me personally, I don't see what the hype is about wanting to go onto someone's live like that and watching them for any more than two minutes. I don't see what the hype is, especially when they just, oh, I remember there was a, there's also a Miles Morales uh, Spider-Man. He's been doing those lives for a while too. So what I see ultimately is people in real time to the lowest basic, most basic level selling their soul for money. And I know you may be saying forever, you know, that's, that's extreme. How, how can you say they're selling their soul? They're making really good money. Although I do see where you're coming from, I also see the greater picture, the grand scheme, because what do you think the powers that be think when they see humanity doing this for money? Because we all know money is ink printed on paper, paper that comes from tree bark, right? Money is really meaningless right? It's really about assets and it's really about energy at the end of the day. So I see the powers that be looking at this like, hmm, we got humans exactly where we want them. Who's to say that in two, three, four, five years, probably sooner, right? They want to chip everybody. So now they see that everybody's doing AI and it, and it looks funny, right? This is just the first step, but truly what happens in a couple of years when they go, okay, we'll pay you $5,000 a month if you just put this AI chip in your body and if you chip your family, we'll give everyone in the family another $1,000 on top of the five, right? Because I can see people, especially nowadays, going, oh, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll, we'll chip, we'll chip so you can track us and take our data and control our bodies and control so we can be, uh, we can be cyborgs, we'll do it so we can live free and live life for free. 
don't you understand that there are a million, trillion, billionaires in this world that hate their lives because they have no meaning to it? The money, the money doesn't do anything for them because you, it's not about the money, it's about what you do. It's about what you do in this world, in this society, what you give back to the society. So if everyone is a robot, you know, that literally takes out the right brain and makes this a left brain society. It makes this world uh, iRobot, essentially, right? It makes the world iRobot. So to me, the biggest thing that I'm taking away, the biggest thing that I see when I see this trend blow up is I see the level of humanity that the human race is at, right? And I see the human race and I see humanity at a level that they're willing to do anything, not even for, not even for, they're willing to do anything for money, not even for safety, not even for love, not to feel good. They don't care about integrity. They don't care about genuineism. They don't care about their dreams or they don't care about what their soul, because newsflash, it's us and our soul, right? And the soul is a collective energy that is God. And God has separated and fragmented a piece of themselves, they self, into each of us individually. That's why it's God, because God is throughout all of us. And it's our job to go inside, understand what this fragment of God, which is individualized in, in between each individual, each hue, man, hue as in light, man as in manifestation, the manifestation of light. It's our job to decode what our fragment is saying and allocate it to the world and share it to the world. Because right now we're in Aquarius, which is sharing your knowledge to the world. So what happens if everyone starts to go, oh, you know what? Because this is, this, is, this is a perfect example of social, not only social, social checking, like checking up on the social status, but social conditioning, right? Because mark my words, if people are doing this, then it's only a matter of time before people say, yeah, put a chip in me for four grand a month, you're paying me 4,000 a month for the rest of my life or for the next 20, 10 years to just have a chip in my body so you can collect data and you're gonna say that it, it, it betters the human race. Sign me up, sign me up. I don't have to do this AI TikTok anymore. I can just have a chip and just literally be free to live life. Sign me up, watch, watch, mark my words. That's the next thing that's coming. That's the next thing that's coming because they need our consent. Ultimately, they want to control the human soul. They don't have this soul connection. The powers that be that are soulless, they don't have this soul connection. They don't have love. They don't have, you know, friendship. They don't have morals. They don't have a connection to God like we do. So that's why they're trying to strip it away from us because if they, if, they can't strip God out of us, they lose, right? If they can't disconnect us from where we are connected to, what we are connected to, if they can't wipe away our belief system and where, we're, where we truly come from, it's, all, it's over, it's over. And they gotta come up with another plan. Right now, this is the best thing they got. And it isn't any more clear to me to see I don't think their plan is working because I think their plan is, can only work so much to the point where it blows up in their face. But right now, they're looking at TikTok, they're looking at this AI stuff, and they're seeing that their plan is working. They're seeing that people will literally act like a robot for money. So who's to say that people won't become part robot for money? When they don't have to act anymore, they can just be put in them and it's done. Or it's just beginning. Comment down below what you think about this video, what you think about what's going on, what you think about this topic, because again, I see a lot, a lot, a lot, like an overwhelm, not overwhelming, but a surprising amount of just random people who are doing this, just random people. And when I go into their lives just to see like what it looks like, the, the viewers, the likes, there's at least a thousand viewers in each live. And these people have maybe no more than 2,000 followers and they got a thousand viewers. So I know that the algorithm is pumping people, right? The algorithm, TikTok is encouraging. It's so clear to see when you just sit back and look at everything pass by, so easy to see that there is a narrative that is being
catapult it to the front, but the one true narrative is love and light. And that's what we're doing. So as we do best, love and light to all and to all love and light. Make sure you like this video. Let me know, I really wanna know what you guys think about these thoughts, what you guys think about this trend. Um, do my thoughts sound realistic? Do they sound outlandish? Leave it in the comments below. Today's video number 19. You already know what time it is. Full steam ahead. And I promise you, I'm not gonna make any promises right now. Love and light to all and to all. Love and light forever out.